Welcome to Master Digital Color. This is Brian Miller. Today we'll learn how to use blurs in Photoshop. The other day I was visiting Hudu.com and noticed a user asking about using blurs on their comic book images. So let's look at a couple of images today and see if we can find a way to use blurs that makes sense. Let's start by selecting the marquee tool and then select a portion of our panel. I'll use the layer via copy command and you can see it's created a new layer with only the portion we copied. From the Photoshop menu bar, let's choose Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we can adjust the slider on the blur to get a couple different effects from very little blur to quite a bit of blur. And I'm going to choose somewhere around seven and a half. I'm going to click OK. And we can start to get the idea that these figures are blurred in the background, giving us some depth. But we have a portion of our main figure that's also blurred. So we can choose the lasso tool. And then we can zoom in and just cut out part of that figure. For me, the easiest way to do this is actually turn off the layer with the blur. And with the crisp, sharp black lines and colors, just make a quick selection with the lasso tool. And I'm using the modifier key, so I can just tap, tap, tap my way around the figure here. And go around his ear, go up and get this eyebrow, the forehead, and the hair. Just a couple more taps and we'll have it all. So there's a quick selection. We can zoom back out. With the selection active, just hit the delete key to remove that portion of the blur. Then we can drop the selection. Now if we zoom out a little bit, we can see this blur has created a depth of field effect where our focus is right on the main character. This is one way we can use blurs to push things farther back in the background and bring the attention to a closer object in the foreground. The second way we can use blur effects is to imply a sense of motion or speed to an object. Let's add a motion blur to the tiger's paw. Our first step will be to choose the lasso tool and let's just make a big rough selection around the paw. You can see the active selection there. Let's use that layer via copy command. You'll see a keyboard shortcut on the menu. We use the layer via copy a lot so you may want to memorize that keyboard shortcut. So once again we have our selection floating on its own layer and from Photoshop's menu bar we can choose filter, blur, motion blur. And we can adjust the slider for the distance of the blur and the angle of rotation. So we can adjust this angle to be the angle we might imagine that his paw is moving at and adjust the slider to give more or less blur. Let's go with 90 today. We'll click OK. And we can use the pointer tool to move that blur around. We have this big area of blur and we need to remove some of this to give the right effect. This time instead of using the lasso tool to make a selection, let's try the eraser tool. And just like the paintbrush, you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard to make the eraser larger or smaller. And we can just start removing some of the blur and bring some of these areas back into focus. And so with every stroke of the eraser, you're just removing some of that blurred area and just sort of tightening it up a little bit. Now we can see there's a ton of energy and motion behind the swipe of the tiger's paw. Now you know how to use Photoshop blurs to add depth and motion to your images.